ओम शांति दिस इज दी साकार मुरली ऑफ 15 ऑफ सेप्टेम्बर 2023 एसेंस स्वीट चिल्ड्रन यू आर सिटिंग इन दी सेक्रिफिशियल फायर ऑफ दी नॉलेज ऑफ रुद्रा यू डेफिनेटली हैव टू लिसन टू वट एवर रुद्र से बाबा टेल्स यू एंड रिलेटेड टू अदर्स क्वेश्चन वट इज़ दी मेन डिफरेंस बिटवीन दी सेक्रिफिशियल फायर क्रिएटेड बाई दी फादर एंड दोज क्रिएटेड बाई ह्यूमन बींग्स आंसर ह्यूमन बींग्स क्रिएट सेक्रिफिशियल फायर्स ऑफ रुद्रा फॉर देयर टू बी पीस डैट इज सो डैट डिस्ट्रिक्शन इज प्रिवेंटेड फ्राम टेकिंग प्लेस हाउ एवर the father has created this sacrificial fire of the knowledge of rudra for the flames of destruction to emerge so that bharat can become heaven through this sacrificial fire of the knowledge of Rud- rudra that is created by the father you become narayan from an ordinary man that is you become deities from human beings you don't gain anything from those other sacrificial fires song my heart desires to call out to you om shanti this is such a sweet song it is so meaningful those who have unlimited and broad intellects will be able to understand it very well intellects too are number wise there are the highest the middle and the lowest those who have elevated intellects can understand the meaning of this song very well my heart desires to call out to you who is remembering this brackets children which children there are many children it is those who were deities and have now become brahmins those who have taken the full 84 births are the ones who have been calling out a great deal they are also the ones who built the seva temple that is the temple to somanath it proves that we who were worthy of worship deities have now become worshipers we truly were worthy of worship and we then became worshipers so we worshiped somanath seva many create sacrificial fires of rudra but no one creates the sacrificial fire of the knowledge of rudra they call it rudra yagya even now they are creating a sacrificial fire of rudra you can explain to them very clearly who rudra is did rudra ever create a sacrificial fire how did he create it was it successful and what was the result of it no one knows this each of you has now received a third eye of knowledge no one except the supreme father the supreme soul can bestow a third eye of knowledge the supreme father the supreme soul is remembered as the ocean of knowledge human beings cannot be called the ocean of knowledge you know that you are now receiving your inheritance from the grandfather the one whom you have been remembering and saying baba come and bestow the imperishable jewels of knowledge on us we will take this donation and then donate it to others it is very easy simply remind them that they have two fathers on the path of devotion you have two fathers in the golden and silver ages you only have a physical father the inheritance you receive there is according to the efforts you make here at this time so the heads of you children should work on how to go to such places where you can ask them who created the sacrificial fire of rudra is it the sacrificial fire of the knowledge of rudra or the sacrificial fire of rudra its real name is sacrificial fire of the knowledge of rudra rudra is incorporeal how can he create a sacrificial fire he would definitely have to adopt a body people also have a sacrificial fire for dutch prajapati 
दे हैव सोन रेकेट्स इन दी स्क्रिप्चर दच प्रजापति सेक्रीफाइसिंग अ हॉर्स इन दैट सेक्रीफिशियल फायर दे कट अ हॉर्स इन टू पीसेस एंड बर्न इट एंड दे कॉल डेट अ दच प्रजापति यज्ञ इट इज़ नाउ डेट यू अंडरस्टैंड दिस एंड यू एंड सो यू शुड राइट वट टाइप ऑफ सेक्रीफिशियल फायर दिस इज People hold sacrificial fires with great pomp and splendor. They collect a lot of money. Eminent and wealthy people donate money. Some donate hundred, whereas other donate five hundred. You sacrifice you sacrifice yourselves completely into this sacrificial fire of the knowledge of Rudra. In other yagyas, in other yagyas, they, they accumulate money. bit by bit and then brahmin priest are given arms from that here you have to sacrifice yourselves completely there there is no question of sacrificing oneself here some children say baba i am coming with my mind body and wealth no one would say this there they do not put such offerings into a sacrificial fire they perform aarti prakats worship ritual with the lamps and they ask for donations they take from important people you children understand that the flames of destruction emerged from this sacrificial fire of the knowledge of rudra those people create sacrificial fires for peace not for destruction there they make a great deal of noise for peace peace is needed throughout the whole world the supreme soul is the ocean of peace the meaning is explained to you children when you read newspapers think about how to explain to everyone the father knows how to Brahm- how the brahma kumaris are looking after the shops only the jaggery and its bag know which of the businessmen shops are running well and which of the managers are good this brahma is the bag these are very entertaining things therefore it is written on th- of the sacrificial fire of the knowledge of rudra that the flames of destruction emerge from that people create sacrificial fires for peace this is the real sacrificial fire those brahmins have many patrons whereas you brahmins only have the one patron and that is the father rudra whether you call him the father rudra or seva or somanath becket's lord of nectar it is he who creates this sacrificial fire of the knowledge of rudra in which you are now sitting those sacrificial fires last from 2 to 4 days whereas your sacrificial fire of the knowledge of rudra is huge and so it takes time this is the sacrificial fire in which you become narayan from ordinary humans that is you become deities from human beings those people would not say this the father sits here and explains how you should caution them tell the important people that there is a mistake in the sacrificial fires they create the supreme father the supreme soul comes at the confluence age of every cycle they have made a mistake in these scriptures and said that he comes in every age in any case they say that they create a sacrificial fire of rudra whereas it is really the sacrificial fire of the knowledge of rudra shiva's name is rudra and he is the one who creates the sacrificial fire of knowledge just as abraham established his islam religion and buddha established the buddhist religion so in the same way rudra establishes the sacrificial fire of knowledge through which the flames of destruction emerge in fact those people create sacrificial fires for peace that is they do not want destruction it is good to destroy hell for the sake of creating heaven bharat is an imperishable land surely the human community of bharat should be very large there was the original eternal deity religion and that began a whole cycle ago it is mentioned in the scriptures that there were 330 million deities in bharat 
However, it has to be explained that the population of the deity religion would surely be the largest of all the religions. But many were converted. So how could they emerge? Many left and became Buddhist, Christians and Muslims etc. This is why the population has decreased. This too is in the drama. You need unlimited and broad intellects to understand this. Until this knowledge sits in their intellects, what benefit is there in them just surrendering? Many surrender themselves, but only those who imbibe this knowledge well and inspire others to imbibe it very well and who create subjects are able to claim a good status. So this song, My Heart Desires to Call Out to You, is accurate. Who were the first ones to take 84 births? The ones who existed at the beginning were actually the deities and they existed in Bharat. Many have now been converted. Some went to one place and others to other another. Some even left Bharat completely. However, there is truly no other pilgrimage place as elevated as Bharat was. God has to come into Bharat to purify everyone. Even all the founders of religions, because everyone is now impure and there is only the one who purifies everyone. You know this, but among you too, the accuracy of your understanding is number wise. You say that you are sitting in the sacrificial fire of the knowledge of Rudra. Can there be a sacrificial fire like this in which people sit for so long? What do you sit and do? You continue to listen to the knowledge that Rudra explains. As long as Rudra Baba is in this body, he will continue to explain. Surely Prajapita Brahma would also be here. The day of Brahma and the night of Brahma has been remembered. It cannot be the day and night of the Brahma who resides in the subtle region. He is the deity that resides in the subtle region. The question of day and night applies here. The night of Brahma means the time when he is impure and when he becomes pure. It becomes the day. It is the one Sadhguru who purifies Brahma. He is the true Baba, the true teacher and the Sadhguru, all three combined. Firstly, you are the children of the father and then you attain your status from the teacher. This is number wise. If you even retained this in your intellects, you would remain very happy. Originally, you belong to the unlimited father. You came down here to play your parts. You have been remembering the unlimited father from the beginning of the path of devotion because he is the creator of heaven. Surely he must be the one who gives us the kingdom of heaven. It is very easy to explain this. Only sensible ones are able to explain. In fact, it is you Brahmins who are sensible. Those among you who are intelligent are also number wise. The people who are intelligent in the world are number wise too. Here those who continue to become more sensible will also definitely claim a good number. Each one of you should ask your own heart, to what extent have I become sensible? Just as Baba speaks Murli's here, in the same way it is possible for you to speak Murli's there. You should explain to them that there is the difference of day and night between a sacrificial fire of Rudra and the sacrificial fire of the knowledge of Rudra. When the sacrificial fire of the knowledge of Rudra was created, the flames of destruction emerged and Bharat became heaven. Whereas those people create sacrificial fires so that destruction doesn't take place and heaven is not established. That is completely the opposite thing. This is why Baba says, I come to uplift all of those people. I come and create the sacrificial fire of the knowledge of Rudra. Therefore, you make a promise. Baba, whatever we hear from you, we will relate that to others. Acha, relate it to others, but repeat it here first. Repeat it as often as possible so that you can explain it anywhere. These are first class points. In other sacrificial fires, people offer barley and sesame seeds. 
where is the material of the whole of the old world is sacrificed into my sacrificial fire of the knowledge of rudra however not all of these aspects are imbibed very well by the intellects of some if you do not remember the father the locks on your intellects do not open baba says what can even i do at this time the intellect of everyone is impure i come and purify them those who do not remember me are not able to imbibe this knowledge so how would the locks on their intellects open it is only by having remembrance that they can open the father is the most beloved one and so people praise him a great deal there is a great deal of praise of sib baba siva is also worshiped so he must surely have come but what could he do without organs therefore i have now entered brahma you children are sitting in front of bab dada but because of body consciousness you are not able to maintain that much love and regard for the father you hardly follow his directions and you become arrogant the father says i am completely egoless so why do you have so much arrogance you think that only you are very clear you become so body conscious now when someone's husband dies that soul leaves and the body is destroyed then that soul is invoked into a brahmin priest it is not the body that is invoked they have that feeling of love and devotion and thereby receive a return of it if a wife continues to remember her husband she receives a vision of him it is baba who grants visions many have such love however it is the soul that comes when a man is so devoted to his dead wife he too would receive a return for his devoted feelings he would see his wife he would bring something and would adorn her with it himself many such things used to take place in the past previously they used to feed the soul with great ceremony when people remember ganesh or nanak etc they have a vision of them this can happen to many but only the one father holds the key to it the father says these things of visions are also fixed in the drama you are granted visions and the drama continues it doesn't wait you have to understand the drama very well ah uh, you must also have very good regard for baba some find it very difficult to have that much love and regard for the father they think that he is incorporeal when they are told that this one is his chariot they think what have i got to do with him i am only going to remember the incorporeal one acha see if you are able to go into the lap of the incorporeal one or eat and drink with the incorporeal one why do you come to this one then they say but baba you are in this one we move along believing that you are present in this one it is difficult for the intellects of some to retain this there are many who tell lies when they say i have a great deal of love for baba i stay in remembrance of baba for so many hours this baba says even i am not able to stay in complete remembrance i am the only specially loved long lost and now found child nevertheless i make a lot of effort acha to the sweetest beloved long lost and now found children love remembrance and good morning from the mother the father bab dada the spiritual father says namaste to the spiritual children and the spiritual children say namaste to the spiritual father essence for dharna number 1 together with surrendering yourself you must also broaden your intellect in order to claim a high status imbibe this knowledge very well and inspire others to imbibe it second become as egoless as the father let go of arrogance and have deep love and regard for the father do not become body conscious blessing may you be a karma yogi who becomes free from karmic bond days by being the master of your physical organs and making them act a brahmin life is not a life of karmic bond days but a karma yogi life be the master of your physical organs and make them act as and when 
and for however long you want. You will then become an angel from a Brahmin. All karmic bondages will finish. You have received that body to do service and your life of your karmic accounts of karmic bondages has now finished. All connections with the old bodies and the physical world have now finished. And this is why this is called a life of dying alive. Slogan In order to experience the company of the comforter of hearts, stay in the stage of a detached observer. Slogan In order to experience the company of the comforter of hearts, stay in the stage of a detached observer. Om Shanti